question of the quiz. Quiz one hour as usual. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sir. Hello, sir. Sir, am I audible, sir? Yeah, you are audible. Tell me. Ah, like a lecture twenty six, twenty seven is same, no, sir? Yes, in the same same sheet. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Great. So we talked about the trellis realization. We talked about uh, zero. ISI, we talked about correlative level coding and uh, we talked about the modified duo binary, the duo binary pulse, the modified duo binary pulse. Vector B modulo 2 addition from yes, so this is where the battery went out. So I will start writing here. So we had Right. Continuing uh, uh, Saturday's lecture, we had this and consequently. I get. So modular two addition. Is thankfully I can uh, simply take the addition and <clears throat> round it off. I can simply write or I can simply get. This means that if the received symbol or the detected received symbol is plus minus two, then This should be absolute value of. If BM that is the detected symbol is. Plus minus two. Then. Sir, yeah. Uh, so like PM plus PN minus one was BM by two plus one. So why did uh, the XOR uh, addition give uh, BM by two minus one? Plus and minus XOR is the same thing. You can okay. work this out. Yes, sir, yes, sir. yes. Sir. Because we want a zero or a one. And if you do BM plus one, that will give you three or uh, that will give you values from 3 to 0, right? So, but if BM is minus 2, like absolute of then minus 2 will be 2. Do it. Zero. And. I 
I am reducing it further. Yeah, is it back? Yes, and now it is back. Yes. So, and connected, but suddenly it uh, applications at it. So it's getting harder and harder to work. Fine. This thing and as a consequence, in the case of Why isn't math mode working now? I'll have to close one note and uh, yes, someone says something. Screen is stuck. Yes. Yes, now is it uh, OK? Yes, sir. Yeah, so let me see. Yes, now it's working. And if 
fine these are the sir that uh, symbol you mean that uh, it would be modulo m so capital m capital m capital m capital m capital m modulo l subtraction yes subtraction okay yeah so i just write that this means modulo m subtraction means fine so based on this right and using similar tricks tricks it is easy to show that so should it be pm minus 1 where yeah pm minus 1 this thing thank you adit using similar tricks it is easy to show that d hat equals to plus fine this is the modulo m operation so you can derive actually i'll write that derive Results for other forms of L response signaling in modified. fine now the question is so if we look at uh, this dm equals absolute value of bm divided by 2 minus 1 and bm is nothing but the received symbol so I'll maximize this okay. 
so we were considering this we were considering the special case of uh, noiseless modulation so what will happen is that practically receive bm plus bm plus some noise so like now we are integrating the noise like taking the noise part have i talked about integration no no means integrating means uh, taking part uh, yeah. noise part yeah so. now we are so till now what we did was or rather so yeah uh, the absence of a pen makes life hard anyway so till now what we have considered oh what we have considered is an considered is misspelled realized system where v in the right this is what we have considered we operate in the absence of noise but practically right yes sir and <clears throat> sir yeah we are working with the baseband equivalents right yes right now we are working only with the baseband equivalents okay passband systems we have uh, talked about but uh, we generally are uh, too scared to handle passband systems directly or because passband systems are mathematically much more complicated to deal with we deal we deal with only baseband systems so now i have to accommodate the effects of noise as right so what i will receive yeah what i will receive is basically so for the simplistic binary Plus one zero, or rather, M can take these three values, and is a white Gaussian, or is a Gaussian random variable. with zero mean and variance 
What will be the variance? Sir, n not by two. No, 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 no. So, see, after everything that we have done, so new m, if you remember, is it convolved with rather I would write it this way. T convolved with Right? Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. This we have uh, discussed in the beginning or discussed earlier. Yes, sir. So that's why I didn't put the whiteness here. You just said, I just say that it's a Gaussian random variable with zero mean and variance. So variance we'll derive. Sir. Yeah. Sure. When we are speaking about the YM, if, uh, it is after the processing, right? Yes. Okay. YM is the final processed signal. And not by two times integral score minus tau, sorry. Right? Yes, sir. So, and therefore, for uh, therefore, say, actually, if I can, if I could have drawn, so yes, the laptop is up. So, what I will do is We'll switch. Yeah, so I will draw this in a minute. Meanwhile, so let's call this as Sigma new square. Fine, this beast. Yes, okay, sir. teams that into a problem. And uh, we are back to square zero. We ran into a problem. Try again in a few minutes. Yeah, so anyway, I think it ha it'll have to be uh, totally this thing based today. So you have a class at four. Today? Yes, sir. Ah, bad luck. Friday, you have anything? Any engage? Any prior engagements? So, like, uh, should a sir, sir might take from two to four. Before that, might. we have. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's uh, then. So, 11 a.m. Friday suits you. So we have a class at 11 to 12. He, this guy just told me that. Uh, <laughs> I am. I assume like within 12 to to any time that we might choose. Pretty big, an, pretty big assumption. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> 
so there's a have you so there's a famous tv series uh, black adder rowan atkinson not famous these days but uh, it u- used to be famous uh, earlier heard of it unfortunately no sir no. Oh, okay so rowan atkinson you know rowan atkinson yes sir ha uh-huh. yes, so rowan atkinson has to escape a prison and he asks uh, his helper to Uh, uh, for a change of clothes and that guy uh, so he his plan is to run from britain to france and uh, that guy says uh, okay uh, so i want a change of costume so that uh, i can blend in with the crowd in france without uh, any trouble so that guy brings him a robin hood costume this guy says uh, why have you brought in brought me a Uh, robin hood costume say i assume that you went to a french village and they were ha- holding a fancy dress competition so for that fancy dress competition i have brought in this robin hood costume so quite quite a good story with assumptions yes <laughs> sorry i yeah it's uh, anyway so let's continue with this thing so anyway uh, 4:30 pm friday yes sir it would be good yeah 4:30 to 6 possibly friday then so i'll just uh, i just want to finish this uh, ofdm off and after that uh, you can we can have classes and we can you can use some online lectures to finish off the course but uh, this of uh, band limited channels and ofdm i want to finish off myself okay sir yes. so now have a three level detection problem with half why okay yeah this one so you know windows uh, there's a nice trick so instead of control v if you play, press windows plus v you get all the past of on windows pcs you get all the past things that uh, you have copied so you can actually copy multiple items sir in a particular session right in a particular uh, yes yeah, so in a particular session of windows but even that is good enough see here if i press windows v it shows me this it shows me the uh, module om i cal- i it shows me some data that i copied from matlab it shows me some matlab commands that i worked on earlier today yeah that's useful and yeah, this is helpful so in con- windows v instead of control yeah so anyway we have a three level detection problem with this, with these prior probabilities and noise variance sigma right so yes sir class hmm so now probability of error
is detecting or the error event i can define the error event as either detecting a zero as a two or a minus two or detecting as fine uh, sir can you just state like what exactly you wanted to write it's slightly confusing so i can so we have the prior probabilities of these symbols yes sir and uh, i have the noise variance now i can define the error event so an error will be there when i detect a zero as a 2 or a minus 2 yes sir or uh, an error will be there when i detect a 2 or a minus 2 as a zero okay okay got it fine so this will be the error event and equals probability minus 2 Zero plus two to zero plus. So shouldn't it be one by four? One by four, yes. It should be one by four. One by two is in the other case. So yes. So if I write this, so what I was trying to do was copy this and uh, use it for one by two and I. terrible you can see the screen right yes the laptop has turned on so i'll see if i can do it there so it has it's slightly outdated the screen but uh, we'll try to work around it so okay, the screen is outdated now this so probability of error i'll write again probability of error is 1 by 4 probability minus 2 to 0 plus probability 2 to 0 plus half 
probability to fine now representing it but uh, really what i wanted to do originally this is 0 minus 2 this is 2 say get a gaussian here get a smaller gaussian here and you get a smaller Gaussian here because these have smaller pri prior probabilities. So naturally, the detection thresholds will also, so you can notice that the detection threshold won't be plus minus one. Yes, sir. So this and then obviously based on the detection threshold, the threshold and the choice of the pulse shape, I can Calculate probability of bit error right. Yes, sir. Great. So rather after rather complicated calculations we will be able to calculate the probability of bit error and uh, i would actually prefer matlab uh, or numerical computation of this thing rather than a closed form expression because uh, see this will now okay so the sigma nu square will now be a complicated but so you can still say that it will be something like uh, probability of error is something like q over sigma square sigma nu square fine sigma nu actually not sigma nu square and this something you have to calculate based on the uh, optimal threshold and based on the prior probabilities and all fine sir would we be calculating a threshold as well or like that is no, also no, no. so we, we we you can do that just that uh, uh, you, so the point is that you know the procedure yes you know how it will do work out you know how it will behave yes so we won't be doing that rather we would uh, so in a regular class i would give this in a, as an exam problem you know the procedure, now do it. So that makes a good exam problem but, or uh, that makes a good assignment problem. But uh, repeating all of that again would simply be reinventing the wheel for a more complicated case. Okay, sir. So we won't directly be doing that and similar exercise can be done for the MD case. The question is, what good is this? We know that this symbol by symbol detection in case of channel 
with memory right this we know yes sir so since we know that uh, this is sub optimal all this exercise will provide us a bound on the performance the the Viterbi decoders. So, or rather, I can say that the Viterbi decoder. for channels with memory will perform at least as good as the symbol by symbol detector fine yes sir great so what we have done till now is seen the effect of isi discussed to counter isi via pulse shaping discussed controlled isi via partial response signaling these are the things that we have discussed yes sir yes so now let's uh, come to another question that have already tried all the tricks in the book but we still get signal with some uncontrolled isi that is Why? Oh, now it has changed colors. Y M equals X M I M plus 
summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity or k equals minus infinity to infinity. We'll consider a special case later. X m minus k or x k x k x zero i am yes x m minus k rather x k k not equal to zero no, yeah x k plus right sir will it be vk or vm vm yes new actually not v oh, or sir. yes we used v we used v we used v we used v yeah, sorry or rather in the raw form that is without applying post processing rm equals equals 80 im plus summation from minus infinity to infinity k not equal to 0 hk i k plus right what is h t equals c t sir the screen is again stuck oh, okay now it came yeah this and h m h k is Fine, HKT. Fine, yes, this has come. So now this is the raw version. This is the unprocessed version. So the major difference between these two is that uh, RM has white noise and YM has colored noise. And uh, we have seen in the previous semester that uh, white noise is always easier to deal with when compared to colored noise. Fine? Yes. So I wanted to cover this today, but since we are running out of time, we will discuss this tomorrow and uh, then continue fine yes sir okay great so uh, quiz 5 pm sunday you will get the links on friday and extra class 4 30 pm friday or 4 15 pm friday okay sir okay after sudarshan's class take a 15 minute break and then we'll talk for as for, uh, as much as we want Okay, bye. So actually, have a nice day, all of you. Friday, we have a minor class at 5 o'clock. So, is it possible that you take the class either on Saturday or uh, I mean, Saturday? See, same Saturday, time? I cannot. Uh, uh, oh, Saturday, uh, I'm traveling. That, that's the whole purpose of that class. Sir, do you have any class at 2 to 3 sir, on what? Thursday? Thursday, 2 to 3, no. Uh, I think we don't have any class on 2 to 3 on Thursday. Like, 
Okay. It is Great. a PDF. So he will just send a PDF. PDF? Uh, I think Adit is. A, I think it is control, right? Y yes. So we don't have a class on two to three. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow. So, Okay, sir. So basically, okay, sir, tomorrow we we'll have two to four. Yeah, so tomorrow we'll have two to four, or two to as far as my laptop supports. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, because yeah, I need to get this thing uh, uh, repaired as well. So I'll get the batteries changed and get an SSD. Any more recommendations? I cannot change the processor, so I'll stop recording. Sir, SSD will be enough. Like SSD has yes. improved my laptop as well. Yes.